I'm going to pray for that that you don't mind. Before we proceed out of communion, now I realize what that song means to me. For 48 years, he alone is worthy. I would not have made it. I would not have made it. I could not have made it. If it had not been for the Lord. That what, that what he has done for me is my testimony. Today, today, and today, I have my brother here with me from Tennessee. But I know God is a miracle. But I know God is a miracle and a healer. When I received the call from this man, the major artery in his brain had busted. When I received that from him, and he said to me, he said, don't worry, I'm going to be all right. A major artery in his brain had busted. And he says to me, don't worry, I'll be all right. Well, I can see for myself. When I saw my goddaughter last Sunday, came in here when she lost her mother. Now, I know God is real. And here he is sitting up here in the pulpit with me now. It's a living testimony. I say he's a living testimony. I say he's a living. And there are some of you that are in here right now. So God is real. He is Thank God for you all. I'm going to ask you to stand now as we prepare for our communion. And let us move into our morning worship.
thank all of you all who participated in the uh, surprise birthday party from last week. And I just want to thank all of you all. And like Pastor said, don't nobody have to do nothing for you. But I just want to take this time to just thank all of y'all for uh, what y'all have done for me. Amen?
let us go to the throne of grace. May he always pray and faint not. Holy Father, the one who sits high and looks low, the great I am, the one who is greatly to be praised, Lord, I just don't believe that 
to call this church home. Give away, church. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. I'll tell you something. This has been a journey. It's 24 years in this church here, and it's been a journey. It was an honor and a privilege. We started down there 24 years ago. Trustees and I, and I with the new trustees, we started out at $1.7 million. Dollars. Purchasing the land, the foundation, all of this stuff that's in here now. And everything's paid for except for the mortgage. And I went to the bank one day, and I tell you, I, I called Pastor, and I was just really, really happy and excited. And I want you guys to get excited too. Because at this point, today, we owe $17,623. December, we want to deed and say, we done it, y'all. We want to take everybody to dinner somewhere. I don't think you guys can get it out, but uh, that's where we at now, so we just support, continue support. Uh, we can do what we started 24 years ago and uh, have this church. We call it your church. Amen. Amen. In that Sunday school lesson this morning, that was a very familiar passage of scripture and it resonated in my spirit. Good leadership brings about good fellowship. Everybody is not going to go along. And I recognize that. Yes. But most of the people will follow good leadership. Yes. Now, I can't tell you I've been good these 48 years. I've done some bad and some some good. But my good got way bad. <laughs> and I'm grateful for that. I didn't come here to rob this church. I come to be as a servant to this church. In fact, if I met, let me share if you notice me. Uh, I haven't received an uh, uh, increase just so happened a couple of, just a year ago. The Lord blessed me with a little love offering to give. But I wasn't here for money. I wanted to be a blessing to this church and to the entire congregation. He saw the best and everybody else around me could only see the worst in me. And that's what I'm all about now, y'all. I mean, we're going we to burn this mortgage on this church. 17000 that's all. God is going to bless us and pay for this church. And we're going to give And all the contents, everything in here belongs to us. Thank you, Lord. I'm grateful to one of them. Former, he's still a part of my life. Ricky Smiley. Yeah. All these instruments, lessons, and sweet. Ball and yeah. And so God is good. Yeah. He's good all the time. I ain't here to Janice get ready to come up here. Come on up here. And we're going to do what we need to do to burn this mortgage. And when we do burn it, you remember when David began to dance? I can tell you how he danced. He danced. At least, at least he danced. And, 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 and when he started dancing, things began to happen. I hope mine don't happen like that. <laughs> David started dancing because he began to rejoice that the couple was coming back home. And, 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 and he began to dance. And it, first of all, his shirt fell off. Secondly, his pants fill up. <laughs> and then the other parts of him fell off. And your wife said to David, you ought to be ashamed to dance out of your clothes. And David said to his wife, baby, you don't know what I know. 
You ain't been through what I've been through yet. I'm gonna shout. And once Ernie get that mortgage in his hand, you ain't seen nothing yet. For a 1.7 million dollar church in this community, that's a blessing. And to maintain the beauty of this church for over 20 some odd years, that is a blessing. And it came from good leadership. Alberta, Terry, and all of us put our hands together to keep this church looking good. Yes. And I'm grateful. And there's order in this church. Yes. Look at us, you know. Amen. Look at the choir. Amen. It's going to be order in here as long as I'm here. Yes. You ain't going to come in here wearing your own attire. Yes. If you're going to usher, you're going to look like a usher. If you're going to sing in the choir, you're going to look like a choir man. You're not going to have your own agenda. And if you come here the next Sunday, you're going to see something you've never seen before. I believe in structure. I believe in order. Because a divided house cannot stand. So we're grateful for that. We're going to ask now that our trustees come and let's prepare for our tithes and our offering. And we're going to move into the realm of our giving. Those of you in the bathroom, we begin to make your way down. And again, we want to make sure we announce on next Saturday, beginning at 1 o'clock, we're going to have a give back to the community luncheon. Everything that you will come here for on next Saturday will be free of charge. And we're going to ask that you support us that you will give in that order. Jazz, come right quick if you don't mind. Good morning, church. Good morning. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everyone that participated yesterday. Those who helped, came out and helped, it was just wonderful, you know, it really was. They didn't have to, they came to get their plates, but just came out and helped, and I'm so grateful. Uh, also, the people that have purchased tickets that uh, maybe we've held for you, please make sure that you pay the balance of your tickets uh, because they are holding them. And as I stated when we first started, we don't give refunds. So whatever you pay, that's just there. You don't get refunds. Because I did state that we were holding those tickets and did not sell them because you paid a price on them saying that I really want this ticket. So we're not giving refunds and I'm sorry about that. Um, also, I think Pat has a, a few. Uh, I know it's not that many, but you will need to see, and Ernie has one, so you can see Pat Sanders to see what she has, if in fact you haven't gotten your ticket. Uh, on next Sunday, Pastor would like everyone to give a $50 love offering. That's next Sunday, and um, uh, he's hoping that everyone will actually give the $50, but if you do not have the $50, please don't just not give anything. If you have a dollar, if you have two dollars, if you have five, ten, whatever, but he's asking for 50 All right? Thank you for your time. Bless you. Let us pray. Eternal God, Father, we come now to give back to you that which you allowed us to give. And we pray, O oh God, that you receive our gifts. It's in your name we pray. Amen. 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 Those of you to my right, will you stand? Those of you to my left, will you stand? The Son of God, the name of Jesus.
pray, oh God, and be used to the glory of thee. These are the blessings we ask in that name. Amen. Amen. Stay in that key that you. My brothers and sisters, we have come to the preaching of the gospel. And uh, I am delighted, excited to have in our midst this morning a dear friend of mine for some over 40 some odd years. And uh, I asked him to come down. Some time ago, as I've said, um, I received a call late one night. And, um, the caller was Reverend Steele. And uh, when he called, he says, I want you to know something, but I want you to know that I'm okay. I said, well, what is it, man? He said, I've had a major artery in my brain to burst. And I have had a massive aneurysm. Could you imagine four days in the morning getting a call like that? But to hear what he says in the call, he said, I'm going to be all right. And every now and then, you got to speak to yourself. You got to encourage yourself. You got to deal with yourself. Yeah, yeah. Then a couple of weeks ago, about a month ago, he called him back in the hospital again and said his heart was acting up. But how many of you know that he's a heart fixer? Y'all didn't get this right now, but how many of you? And a man really. And I told him, I said, look, man, I said, you, you come on down here. Because that is a testimony to know that God is still able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask and think. There are some in here on crutches and canes, but they press their way in. I look at Reginald. Reginald had major surgery in the back. And boy, he playing that keyboard this morning like that. He ain't got a pain on the door. Something happened, you want to bust up in there like you think God will just take you. 